Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim, September the 18th, 2019, and what a strange day today, Fed meeting and all. Miss Vegas has got a short watch list for us, and we'll go through a few of them. Miss yeah, Vegas. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. So we're going to keep it short and simple because the FOM C drained me and drained Jim. So... Um, we're going to talk about Snap, Roku, GoGo, and Microsoft, and uh, we'll just keep it at that. And um, I just want to mention that the Feds did cut the rates 25 basis points in the uh, fourth quarter of this year, and uh, that's so far. I guess we'll see how the market is tomorrow. We saw some volume pop at the end of the day. So we'll go and we'll trade what the market wants to give us. I mean, we want everything green, but uh, again, we just trade the tape. So let's begin with Snap, Snapchat. Uh, I am long on the stock, bullish on the options. Uh, Jim can show you the money flow um, in terms of Snapchat. A lot of money's been going into the actual stock. And um, just to mention that Snapchat, you know, it hasn't necessarily gone so well. Um, they're looking to add a news tab apparently on their app. I personally don't use Snapchat. I don't even use Facebook. I mean, I don't have time for these apps. I don't know how you guys out there do it, but if you even use Snapchat in addition to all these apps out there, my God, you're such a great multitasker. Um, so definitely keep a watch on Snap. Uh, definitely looking for this to have a continuation. I won't be surprised in the coming sessions we're going to see 18 and 19s, maybe even 20. But we had a lot of resistance here at 1704 today on a triple top. And I'll let Mr. Jim talk about that. Yeah, Snapchat may add a, what, a dedicated news tab? So we have to check that out. Let's look at the chart. Let's see if I got the right, there we go. We're bullish on Snap. We've been for a while. I think Wall Street's got their eyes on it too. The volume's been real good. We had a pretty good little pullback today, and she did bounce to resistance, which was at 1691. Pulled back again to support at 1669. A little bit below that, and then she went ahead and made new highs into close. Almost created that 1704 that we needed to reach to get a double top come real close actually it did hit it and it pulled back a little bit here into close so we're going to look at the yearly chart on snap that was the daily you can see it's had a very nice run 482 all the way up to 1836 it's pulled back for a month and a half and in here lately we've been kind of bullish on it so we're going to kind of look at the support area on this, and I think it's going to be right around the 622, which we had this breakout here, and we also had this right here, which creates pretty solid, solid uh, support area, right around the 615 area, somewhere in that. So we're going to pull up the 20 day now, and look up the 20 day. So yeah, right around here, I'm going to say maybe in this little channel right here is going to be a channel of support. That's going to be right around the 618 to 630 area. Then you got your second support, which I would say probably right around here around the 1655, right where that 34 EMA is on the 20-day, one-hour chart. And then it could break resistance, kind of have a, uh, oh, I don't know, a sending triangle in a way. But... The resistance we do need to break is going to be this 1691 to bring it to my last resistance of 1709 and then off to the races. So the pullback 1619 to around 1630. If it pulls back, you've got a solid support right here at second at 1655. And then this previous high we had right here at 1669 is going to be your first support. I'd expect a small little pullback and then play the bounce. Kind of play with the market and follow the trend. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Roku. One that yeah. I didn't do too well today in. Well, you know what? Uh, you know, people are, you know, guidance was good on Roku. But, you know, 
Um, Roku shares did plunge. I mean, you know, there was a Comcast announcement that they're going to have free streaming box and Facebook launches a TV device. I mean, Facebook's just getting into everything. I mean, they're getting into dating. Now they're getting into the TV device. I mean, Roku shares, you know, they, they, they pulled back more than 13% as we can see. Um, and I think this is now heightening some competition for Roku. You know, Roku has this really great business. I mean, they have a business built on providing streaming devices and services. So it has pulled back. I think the timing of this news with Comcast giving a free Zfinity Flex streaming box to internet only subscribers um, is just crazy, uh, crazy pricing. And um, also don't forget um, it's competing. There's gonna be Disney Plus coming out as well. And Facebook rolled out Portal TV. And what that is, is the gadget with a camera and a microphone that connects to your TV. And it actually lets you make video calls as well as stream content from Amazon Prime Video and your Facebook Watch. I mean, this is just crazy how technology is evolving. So Jim, let's hear about Roku because I know you had some calls, they pulled back, but you know, opportunity here you know it's kind of a nice pop tomorrow so yep. what are your thoughts on roku yep kind of like the pop we saw on mcdonald's the other day but That's uh right. yeah it, it, i've had some pretty successful trades here lately and then today i kind of got stupid and got in roku let me pull up the chart here i mean this was just a hard ugly sell-off i mean i have and we had another one back here when we had the double top high at 172.16 and she pulled back to this 144.15 then I was bullish on it right then also that was a two-day sell-off we could expect the same thing we could expect another pullback on it but I have I'm gonna pull up the yearly chart and show you where I think those two spots could be I am in this stock and I'm down a little bit a lot more than I want to be I got a low 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 support on this trade at 111.81 that's going to be the low one that's where we had this little consolidated area right here it pulled back and then it had that big bounce so 111.81 if the bears still can the bulls did not get out and play today not at all so i was the only one fighting all the bears today so i felt like a little idiot you got your your second support right here at 118.09 and then that first one where we are right now here at 129.65. So I did cost down four different times on my options and I brought it down to a fairly good figure. I'm going to expect this to get back up to around the 138 area. That's where my target's going to be if it decides to go ahead and turn around. I'm going to be watching the trend tomorrow. So we have a low support of 111.81 with a Second support at 118.09, and that first one is where we are right now at 129, well, 129.65, and we're bound, well, here we are, we're, we're pulled back right there just now. So the Bears might still be interested in shorten this, and it can drop another, uh, I mean, 110, that's a pretty big drop, 111.81. But that'll be your low support. And then you got this 120s where you're 11809 where you th think it should stop first. If it doesn't, it'll pull back to that 11181. But uh, if this thing don't trend and start to move up in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and take my loss on it and then wait for a later date to get back in it. But I'm still very bullish on Roku. But the Bears, congratulations. You finally had your day with this. You've been fighting this for almost seven to eight months shorten this trying to short this stock and you never got your chance until today till this last week and a half or so so congratulations we'll see if the bulls can come out and play tomorrow and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be go 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 yeah, go 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 <laughs> we are in sync today um so go go you know had a bit of a small downtick today uh saying that the delta airline ceo mentions free in-flight wi-fi I mean, I don't know why. Who cares if it's free? I mean, I don't want to pay for Wi-Fi when I'm paying enough to travel on the aircraft. Um, I also want to mention GoGo. The director purchased 
some shares uh, about three weeks ago. He bought 134,349 mm. shares. You know, I got to tell you, you got to watch these insider buys, okay? He paid at the time $3.96. That was back on August 28th. Where is GoGo today? $7.12. You want to talk about making money? In less than one month, that director has practically, he's doubled his money. Okay? So we got to, it's good to follow insider buys. And Jim and I will be doing a video on another time on insider buying. And I'm going to show you some information that will help you uh, look at t stocks in a different way as well and uh, follow the money. So um, going here to GoGo, -Go, so when the stock, uh, when we got that news, I mean, the stock did pull back. And you know what? We saw beautiful reversal. So I called the reversal trade and we got in around the 650s. Made a beautiful move to 723 high of day, and now around it's currently around 712. So, Jim, what are your thoughts on go go? Is it gonna go? It can go up a little bit more. We have a double top okay. we got to look at, and it's between two different spots. I have I'm posting the chart right now. This is a TTM trend chart, and this is how I usually share my this is the one I've been using lately time and sales level two and the news. And I'm going to get rid of all of them right now. We're just going to kind of look at the chart. These trend lines I have on here go all the way back from 2018. This is what I call my extended trend line pattern that not too many people out there in the trading world do. They, history has a great way of repeating itself. And as you can tell, this thing pulled back to 264 and had a great run all the way up here to right around the $6 area. Then pulled back to a little support area with a triple bottom right here at 384. And this is on the year chart. So it ran all the way up, and we're about to the point where we start seeing resistance. Resistance, I mean, is going to be right here at this 751 area or this 782. Actually, it, it hit, I have a 785. So if we were looking at this, and decides what trend we're going to take on it if it decides to pull back I'm going to add two new supports on here these 2019 supports all these orange lines are 2018 and I can show you what I'm talking about I'm going to pull up a yearly chart three-year chart this is when I was playing it before when we had that big sell-off and then she bounced on up and it probably can go back farther than this. It had a three-year high of around 1476, then bottom out here at 264. I think it's way oversold. We have three white soldiers on a weekly layout. One, two, three. So this can start to consolidate, maybe pull back a little bit, and then have a retracement bounce. I'm going to say it's going to consolidate a little bit, have a pullback, and then have a retracement bounce. So let's not see this thing go any lower than 639 to 652. And we need the resistance to break right here at the 711 area. And this is where we closed at at 712. So we're going to bring it to the one day now. Just have a look at the one day. You can tell it had a real good run today, all the way from 640 all the way up here to 723. So here's our supports. 640 is going to be the low low and I'm going to add a new one right here maybe that's too low but our first support is going to be right around this 694 area if that doesn't hold we could find something in here let me get right in here looks good 681 and then needs to hold the 660 area if it decides to pull back anything less than that you might be in trouble that's going to be go go. But the resistance we got to break now is going to be the 720. If we can break 720, we'll move up to new highs. Go go. Next one we're going to talk about beautiful Microsoft. Oh my gosh. So, you know, Microsoft, you know, I love to follow the money when I see money going in on the money flow with options and dark pool. And I got to say, like, you know, Microsoft, you know, I had the really good option calls last week, but unfortunately they were the wrong expiry date and that's the thing with options you know you got to really pick the right expiry date because you could be correct in the actual 
you know, buying up the contract, the strategy, whether it's a call or a put, but if you have the wrong expiry date, uh, here's a good example. So I had option calls on Microsoft. They expired last week, didn't make any money on it. And I was like, what happened? I followed the money here. And lo and behold, that's why there was a lot of money going into Microsoft because they declared a quarterly dividend of 51 cents per share. This is a 10.9% increase from the prior dividend of 0 0.46 cents. So these dividends are gonna be payable in December. And um, also the board of directors approved a new share repurchase program up to $40 billion in share repurchases. And uh, there is no expiry date of the repurchase program, which I think is great. And uh, it can be though terminated at any time. So that's uh, quite interesting. Um, they're gonna have their annual shareholders meeting. It's gonna be held virtually. And uh, I think that's gonna be coming up uh, soon. I don't have the date yet, uh, but you know what? I think this is great news on Microsoft. The, micro the market likes it. Uh, we can see that Microsoft is trading at 140.03. Um, I mean, a nice pop here after hours of uh, just shy of $2 a share. So, I mean, that's great. And I'm sure we'll see some action tomorrow. So, Jim, what do you think about Microsoft? Well, you got to love Bill Gates, that's for sure. That's for sure. I mean, the guy went from rags to riches big time. So, I, it's very beneficial to the to the stockholders, the share buyback program, and the dividends. So, this is going to be another catalyst for it to start gaining new highs and break a resistance. We're going to go into the yearly, yearly chart first. Looks like I just have my 2019 trend lines on here, which is good. I do have a solid red line support that I'll pull up here, and I think it's right around the the 135.72. So that should be the place. If it pulls back, that would be a good entry. And the resistance that we need to break is going to be right up in here, right around the 141.39 area. That's going to be your resistance break. So let's take it up. Let's just look at the three-year chart, show you how beautiful this is. I mean, look at that. Ain't that just pretty? All the way from $56 all the way to $141.68. So, yeah, this has had a great run, a real beautiful run. It did have a little sell-off back when we had that crisis in 2018. It didn't pull back too much, though. It pulled back from $115 only to one to around 100 bucks, And then it retraced and rebounced, got a double top, and broke out. So we have a new double top resistance we got to break now which is going to be a triple top. Now I use these three moving averages and I'm going to show you how they look on a one day. Let me look at the 20. I think we had the 20 day up. Yeah, this is the double top we got to be concerned about here at 140, excuse me, 140, 140.45. That's what we got to break. We did hit it today, kind of, come real close. It's pulled back. So I'm going to put another red line support area in here and I'm going to call it right here at this trend line at 139.46. Let me change that real fast. 139.46 on MSFT. That's going to be your first support. This first support channel of maybe 139.14 to 139.46. But to get a clearer picture on it, and we have a low support down here at around 135.61. We can see that, but I'm going to adjust that one too, right up here to 135.88. So that's going to be your low, low support. We're going to adjust that. I'll turn that red and make it a little bit thicker. So I'll know if it hits that target, I can get back in this trade. But it is going to consolidate if it doesn't break out of this 140.66 channel. The next resistance will be 141.39. Your first support right here at 139.46. Then you got your second support channel, which is going to be right in this area. And that's going to be between the 137.94 and the 188.28. Yeah, there's big spreads here, but this is a beautiful stock that does take some hits. Three or four day hits, and then it bounces right back up. I'm going to go ahead and draw this channel in right here.
for a second support area. That's going to be this 137.94 to 138.28. That's going to be where my my entry is if it doesn't hold this first support at 139.46. Then we're going to have a low one right down here if it decides to pull back hard, which you never can tell, you know. I mean, they bounce up like this and they decide to pull back, take profit, and then you got new buyers coming in. So these are going to be your three support areas, 135.61 to 135.88 for your low support, for your low entry buy. Your second one, 137.94 to 188.28. And then that first one's going to lie right down here, right around the 139.46. That's the one I want to see hold. It can go a little bit lower. Please stop these charts at any time, do this video at any time, and copy and paste these charts for your own workings. Just don't share them with anybody else unless you got my and Vegas's name on them. And that's going to be MSFT. And that concludes our big watch list for today. It was definitely a different day. If it was me and I was the Fed, I would have never lowered the rates today. But we are in a global economy, so they're thinking about other countries. They're not really particularly caring about our situation right now. We more or less can dig this, dig out ourselves out of a hole, because we are capitalists. But we wish the world great success. That's for sure. And that's about it. Now, those are the four we're going to talk about: Snap, Roku, GoGo, and Microsoft. And also on our website, if you're new to our website, we do have a Twitter Twitter page right here. Hit that follow button. Miss Vegas posts Twitter alerts on here all the time and you know we got pretty good following we're starting also on our website we have our stock twits pinterest facebook youtube and please subscribe hit that bell and you'll get our future updates and that's i love stocks miss vegas yeah i just want to say thanks to everyone to follow and subscribe and just to mention uh, NBY, which is Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals. Um, this one was popping a little bit after hours. We did trade this today in the room. We didn't really close the trade because it didn't move much. So it didn't really pull back, but it didn't do anything. And here we are after hours, it popped and went to 78 cents. Um, I just want to mention the last time this had a nice run, this went to almost $4. So this should be on your watch list for tomorrow, NBY, uh, especially those of you that love the penny stocks like me. And Jim, too, I mean, keep this on your watch. And be wide for tomorrow, Nova Bay Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, and, we got uh, it. that's it. We'll see you tomorrow what kind of action we're going to get in the market. In I look forward to tomorrow. Yeah, I am, too. I really got to see how this. Last time the feds cut the rates, we had a, a sell-off day. Today, I didn't think it was that bad of a sell-off, but actually the stocks we were watching sold off pretty good. And so that... That was a good sign that maybe we can have a rebound, but the, the market didn't go down as bad as I thought it would actually rebound a little bit. So on NBY, it's going to be our bonus. We got a 69.27 support that needs to hold. 69.27. We have a 72.87 uh, pivot point, which would become support if it doesn't hold to 76.82. Let's look at the yearly chart real fast and get this out of the way. Yeah, look at this last run it had right here. It didn't hold very well, but man, that was a good two-day run on NBY. So we're down here at a bottom. We're actually starting to fill the gap, which was right here at the 76.32 area. So tomorrow's going to be judgment day if it wants to move up. We've got a couple supports in here, and I'm going to draw them out real fast for you. I think this can get it back up to the, around the 90, or one, the dollar level, the 101, somewhere around there. If we can get back up to that area, you'd be looking pretty good on this trade. We also have another resistance here at 90.38, and I think that's where I'm going to stick with it. If we can break past this 76.82, we'll hit that 90.38 and maybe that 101. But it looks to me like it's oversold. It did have a bottom down here right around 23 cents. And it recovered real fast. I mean, I, I'm going to figure out what happened here. It might have been a split. Who knows? But that's NBY. I should know. 
And that's our bonus stock. So that's it with the aftermarket report. We wish everybody a great rest of the week. Um, I'm bullish on the American economy 100%. Wonderful. And, and you know what? Feel yeah. free to come by our room. And we've had a lot of really great, great people coming by. And I'm going to share in the next video um, with Jim probably on the weekend. Uh, phenomenal feedback. Like, I'm just loving that people are enjoying themselves, learning. And then this is what I love the most. They, 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 and they're sharing that in the room openly, that yeah. they've learned so much in such a short time. And that's the whole purpose of the chat room. It's not just to have alerts and alerts and alerts, um, which we've seen in many rooms before. There's nothing wrong with that. But I love that ours also spends the time to explain things and teach people. And I think that's a huge advantage to be in a room that really does try to explain things as well. And I know there's rooms that do that too, by the way. Um, so no disrespect to them. Um, there's a lot of really good rooms, but there's a lot also that just don't spend the time to do that. Um, and so, you know, I think it's really important to be in a room of, with people that really want to help you and, and, and explain things. So have a great night and we'll see you all tomorrow. And, um, that's it for now. Good night, Jim. And good night, everybody. We love stocks. Yep. There's our chat service window right here. Set up instructions. If you want to join the chat, you get a, it's a week free. If you like it, you can stick with us. If you, you know, if it's not your setup. There's always other rooms out there, but we supply trade ideas, scanner. We supply a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot. Trade exchange. We've got just uh, scanners for options. So we've been together, Vegas and I, for over two and a half years, maybe three now, just trading. Yeah, it's going to be a Mutual friends. And, uh, and what else was I going to say? You're going to say goodnight. Goodnight. Let's have a rebound on old Roku tomorrow. Bears can still probably get some more out of it. So if I'm not making a profit first thing in the morning, it's not going up. I'm getting out of it, and I'm going to wait and make up that, what, $800 I'm down on right now. So that's Roku, and that's I love stocks, and everybody have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. I love stocks. Thank you.